Now we will discuss the network layer protocols. Before we go into it, let's first find out what is the purpose of a network layer. The network layer provides services to the end stations uh, for communication across the network. And it basically provides four basic processes. First is addressing the end devices, encapsulation, routing, and de-encapsulation. So this is the basically, you know, um, the job of a network layer. So uh, some common network layer protocols, uh, IPv4, uh, as uh, it's very common and well-known protocol, IPv4, uh, IP version 4, and then we have uh, IP version 6 also, IPv6. So these are the two very uh, common uh, network layer protocols. Also, there are some legacy uh, network layer protocols, like uh, Novel Internet Network uh, Packet Exchange, IPX, Apple Talk, and then we have the uh, you know the CLNS, which is the connectionless uh, network service uh, protocol. But uh, mostly, I mean, in the in today's internet, at the network layer, the most widely used protocol is IP. Basically, IP is the gluing protocol that basically you know uh, glues or connects multiple networks to make an internet. Okay, so. Um, uh, some characteristics of uh, IP protocol. Uh, first of all, it's uh, connectionless, which means uh, there is no connection uh, setup. Uh, there is no connection establishment before communication. The second is it's a best effort delivery service, which means no guarantees. You send the packet at the uh, at the network layer, and there are no guarantees that you know the destination is going to receive that packet. No guarantees for that. Also, it is media independent, which means that the the IP uh, protocol is uh, is independent of the underlying communication media that is being used for communication. So you can use uh, fiber optics uh, for communication. You can use wireless. You can use satellite. You can use Ethernet. You can use any any uh, link layer uh, uh, technology or communication uh, protocol, um, and IP is going to run over it. Okay, first of all, uh, what exactly do you mean uh, or do we mean by connection like service? So let's say a packet is, is sent. So the sender is not going to know if the receiver is present or if the receiver can read the packet or the letter. And also the receiver also is not going to know uh, when the packet is going to come or the letter is going to come. So this, this basically, you know, uh, gives you an idea what exactly do we mean by connection less service. Okay. Also, as I said earlier, uh, IP uh, basically provides best effort of uh, delivery, which means it's uh, unreliable. So uh, the packets are routed uh, through the network basically, you know, quickly without any guarantees. And it is possible that some packets, you know, reach the destination and some packets don't. Also, the paths are not fixed, which means that it is possible some packets take uh, different paths than the previous uh, packets that that has already you know uh, been reached at the destination also uh, for uh, the media independent characteristic of ip protocol as you can see on the slide from the station uh, you know the end host to the router you know the packet is basically uh, going over uh, copper ethernet and then from the first hop router to the second hop router it it is basically taking a a copper serial uh, communication which is point to point and then uh, you know uh, the uh, between the two routers they are connected with optical fiber which is a different link layer uh, communication technology and then between these two routers you have again a different uh, communication technology which is copper ethernet and from this uh, router uh, all the way to the to the destination host you have a wireless uh, and um, mostly it's going to be a Wi-Fi uh, link layer technology. I mean, no matter what underlying link layer technology you are using, IP can basically is independent of that media or of that communication technology. Okay, so this is what we uh, we uh, studied uh, in, in our today's topic uh, about uh, the different uh, network layer uh, protocols. 
And in particular, we looked into the IP protocol and its characteristics.